Speaking of decisions, one of the things that's very important with IP routing is its use of administrative distance. Now this is something that you really need to master because this is a very, very integral part of how Cisco routers work. Not all routers use the same type of terminology or technology to make path determination, but Cisco routers base a lot of what they do on a predefined set of precedence numbers, which are known as administrative distance. Administrative distance qualifies exactly how believable a particular learned route is, whether it was learned because it was directly connected to the router, whether it was entered by you as an administrator, or if it was learned via a routing protocol. Every one of these protocols and other means of information being entered into the table is given a number. The lower the number, the more believable the route. And a lot of these will be based upon Cisco's qualification of a routing protocol and how good its metric really is. A good example of that is the difference between the accuracy of the EIGRP metric versus the RIP metric, because these two protocols actually calculate the routing information differently as far as determining the cost of the route the distance of the route. EIGRP is actually much more sensitive to line conditions and therefore it's given a lower number because of its believability. What you see in a route table is if you're running multiple routing protocols only the information generated by the most believable routing protocol. That's all that will be kept in the table. So if I happen to be, for instance, running a combination in my network of EIGRP and RIP and I learn about the same destination from both protocols, it's a default logic that the local router will only keep the EIGRP information and it will discard the RIP information.